Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. Today I want to show you how to do a really quick summer look using a few products and just looking very natural. The theme this year, actually the, uh, the trend is no makeup makeup, but a very dewy skin. In combination, I noticed um, the glass skin is really popular still. So having like a perfect glowy complexion is really what everybody's uh, trying to achieve. A couple of things. You can grab your foundation, like I have this uh, lifting foundation, or um, have a CC cream. Now I've got medium and light, medium and light. What you can do, because you don't want full coverage, it's summer, it's really hot, it may feel like it's going to melt off of your skin. I usually combine these because I'm looking at myself now. I'm really not that tan. I try to keep my face out of the sun. So I'm gonna combine light with the medium and it's gonna become like a little light medium mixture. But let's say you don't want full coverage, which is what I was going for today. What you can do is mix it with your uh, moisturizer. So I've got this hydrating gel cream here. You can mix it with an SPF moisturizer or, or mix it with both the moisturizer and an oil. So I have this Glow Teeny Cocktail Booster. This is going to add a nice glow. If you have a little more sensitive skin, the Zen Days I had, this one has 300 milligrams of um, CBD. So you can do either or. It adds like a really nice glow to it. Uh, I'm going to do both just to show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna add a little bit of moisturizer. And my dog probably showed up in the picture cause she is here by my side now. So I'm doing, I'm just putting it all on my hand. And I'm gonna mix it. That adds the, I'm gonna do Glow Teeny Cocktail. And just do a couple drops, you really don't need a whole lot. Typically, oh, is she squeaking her toy? My goodness. I thought I could get away with doing a video. And just kind of stipple it anywhere on the skin where there's unevenness. Now I have freckles everywhere because I, I have been catching a little bit of the sun here and there. See how it's just evening your skin tone, my skin tone? Um, and I'm just stippling it in. Now you can use um, a paddle brush, like a foundation brush, and just kind of softly dabbing using that motion. So this, this is very light. It's not uh, full coverage at all. I'm just kind of um, making sure I don't have streaks. Let me get in a little closer. There's still a little bit left. What you can do if you want, start applying with your um, hand, fingers. Um, if you have oily skin, this is not recommended. The oil from your fingers will just add more oil to your face. But if you've got drier skin or normal skin, um, using your fingers is actually, makes it more natural, kind of just blends in. See, and there's like this dewy finish if you want more, just add more oil um, and more moisturizer so it really dilutes. And then it becomes a tint rather than just a foundation, which is what I created here. Um, but I did, uh, you know, I did use two colors. So um, it ended up being half color, half of uh, the diluted products, the products that dilute. So totally up to you. And then it's always a good idea to have a couple of different... Um, concealers. I am going to use my light medium and just put it right here. Areas that you need a little lift. See that? And then any other place like this here, any other place that your, your skin needs. Um, just hiding a couple things. If it needs a little coverage. Because remember, this summer, it's really keeping it light. So, just dabbing it in. 
Now I used a light medium, but I do have light. So if I use light, I'm not gonna use it everywhere. I am just going to put a little pop of color like right here to brighten my inner eye area. Um, I can't find it right now, but I do have a brightener. So that would have probably been a better one to have but this is gonna do its job. See that lift, it just, and, and freshness it just gave my skin? It was pretty simple. Um, next thing, if you want more of a glow, we do have the, well, I don't know if they make it anymore, but I'm gonna use my um, Lights Camera Action Glow Stick. I'm gonna go right here and just put on my cheekbones. Adds a little bit more shine where the sun hits where, it, where the light will hit your uh, face. A little over the lips. Or you can cut that part out. It's supposed to be a really quick tutorial. Uh, I wanna try a new product. So Artistry came out with these matte lip, uh, lip colors and this one is Spice Meets Nice. I'll show it to you. And I want to color my cheeks with it. So I know that it's a lip color, but it's a cream. And I want to kind of match, right? So I'm just going to add it to my cheeks. So you can add the lipstick to your cheek and just kind of press the edges here to diffuse the product so it's not too strong in the middle and feather it outwards towards your temple if you put it too low you know like in this area uh, it may drop it may make your face look droopy so if you put it on the top of the cheek here and just feather it outward now it looks like you've got a little bit of blush um, See how this looks. And now my face and lips match. I like it. It's um, I like colors that have that that spice part. The uh, oh, and it's magnetic too. That explains why they've been sticking together. All right. So instead of using my typical brow pencil, I'm gonna use the um, Los Angeles Pacific Brow Perfector. This is peach, uh, Beach Taupe. And I just want to kind of groom my eyebrows and kind of just brush them up so they could just stay there. This adds a little tint, so it's not like I'm not filling them in, but they're not gonna look as full as when I use my, my pencil, and it's okay supposed to be a quick summer look like you can still see my my freckles everywhere but my skin looks healthy radiant glowy and um, yeah doesn't look bad now the one thing I will have to say is you should set your makeup I have a loose powder here in light if you don't want to set your makeup all over you don't have to but I would recommend you at least set the under eye area so turn it upside down grab the little sponge and then take your powder puff and pinch and grab powder smooth the under eye area and just press okay and then same thing here and the loose powder here will set your makeup and I'm just gonna do a little bit, maybe around the chin and up here, um, just so you don't have creasing later. Um, it is all cream makeup. Let me just get a brush. And you don't have to do a lot, just set it and it will be, it will look nice. Um, as an alternative, you can get a fluffy brush and just kind of go everywhere with this. And it takes takes away the shine from the middle area of your face, but it still leaves it glowy. So I haven't done anything to really alter it, and it looks very natural. Um, at this point, you can use your favorite bronzer. I have the, right now I have the Sugar Rush from, which company is this? 
Sugar Rush. Sun and Fun, yes, from Sugar Rush. And I could add a little bronzer. And what I do is I usually, I have my Kabuki brushes. I usually have like a, a, an angled brush and just put bronzer anywhere you would typically get a little bit of a tan. Mine would be the forehead here. I don't know, holding my hair back. Cheeks, jawline here. Just adds a nice little extra bronze. Um, you can skip that part altogether. And then lastly, so I already did my lips. Usually people do that last. I was just really curious about the color. I'm gonna use um, my three in one lash boosting mascara. So see how it extends if you twist. And then use a blinking motion as you twist. This applies the product at the base of your lashes. And that way it doesn't clump and you don't have clumpiness at the very tips. Okay, look at the difference already. And then twist, twist back and shorten it. So now we're gonna use this spinous looking one. I'm just gonna add a little more product. And this one only go to the tips here, use zigzag motions. And this creates a little bit of a wing. They also have some essential oils in here that condition the, the lashes. Some mascaras have formaldehyde and weird chemicals in there that like will not be good for your eyes. So check the ingredients in your mascara and don't put that stuff so close to your face. Anyway, look at the difference. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, obviously. And that should complete our quick summer look. I know that another trend that some people go for is adding freckles. Like if you don't have freckles, if you don't tan easily, it just looks nice <clears throat> to show that you had some sun exposure. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm losing my voice. What you can do is grab your eyeliner. Like if you have a brown, I would suggest brown, don't use black eyeliner. I'm not gonna line my eyes today, but you can do little dots and then cover up with concealer uh, before you do your concealer. So they're kind of faint. So that's a really good one too. If you already did this look and you thought about it afterwards, like, oh, I do want some freckles here and there. Add them on, just, just twist, like grab your pencil and just twist a little and add some freckles and then put some powder foundation over it, just real quick. And that's going to make you look like you have some freckles. It'll look cute. That's how women used to do the beauty marks back in the day when it was really popular. Okay. Now, um, typically you can do the bottom lashes too. It's a good idea. Otherwise, from a distance, your eyes kind of have no shape. So just do a little bit on the bottom lashes just to kind of balance it out. But this completes the look. I don't think I missed anything. I mean, if you do want to add any powder items over, like uh, let's say I want to touch it up with blush. Let me grab my blush brush. Um, other than that, <clears throat> I am done. You see, I can do a little bit of this color. I just want it to match my lip. So I'll just do a little, you know. And then maybe some highlighter over the uh, camera, the lights camera action stick. But um, it's not necessary. I think the skin overall has that healthy glow. And again, you if you don't want to use a ton of products, just leave it as is. But these are just for people who want that extra. Anything extra with highlighter, um, going back in, you could do the inner eye. Top here of the nose and the lips. 
um, for summer look, since your, your face is glowy, you can take the highlighter, and I have two highlighters here, and just do your lid. Either way, the look is really simple, and um, yeah, there's like a lot more you can add to it, but I, I just wanted to keep it simple with just a few products. Anyway, I hope you learned something today. Thanks for joining me, and uh, keep watching for new tutorials.